Of course, that's all important because it is election season right now, and the race for Hawaii governor is heating up as the three leading Democrats vying to succeed Governor Ige traded jabs at a joint appearance today from the Star Advertiser Spotlight. It all comes as each of them tries to break through in a competitive primary. So your record really has no credibility, unfortunately, on this matter. With about a month to go before ballots hit mailboxes, the gloves were off among the three leading Democrats vying to succeed Governor Ige. Congressman Kai Kahele and Lieutenant Governor Josh Green both accusing the other of being in the pocket of big money. If that's the type of leadership that you're going to display when this state is facing a crisis, that's not the type of leadership I want for my children. If we're going to be honest, I should set the record straight. Your entire career has been built and predicated on taking money from special interests. Meanwhile, former First Lady Vicky Cayetano also taking aim at the lieutenant governor over his handling of COVID and his perceived feud with Governor Ige early in the pandemic. There was a point where there was a lot of confusion in the messaging, which added to the frustration of the people. And I think there's no doubt that uh, you played a role in that. With the candidates having similar positions on a lot of issues like tackling affordable housing and ending mask mandates in schools, the clock is running out for candidates to find a way to stand out. Attacking doesn't necessarily mean negative. It means to show that what you're, how you're different and why. And there were some big differences, notably on the 30-meter telescope project on Mauna Kea. Kahele said he's against the plan. Cayetano was for it, while Green didn't give a solid answer one way or the other. Another big difference, recreational marijuana, which is still illegal in Hawaii despite being a solid blue state. Unlike Governor Ige, both Kahele and Green support legalization, while Cayetano was the only Democrat in the race to oppose it.